Dr. Catherine Dunn. Right on, so I've bred somewhere around three quarter of a million of these buggers, so. And I'm gray haired. She's young and gorgeous, so. I'm gonna try to keep her looking good. I look horrible because of all my mistakes, so. A couple things. I'm always, I keep good pressure on this. I, I start closing it as soon as this part of the canal goes past. I try not to get the gate up against the hook of their pin. It'll catch it and bang their hips. So I start pushing by right here so that it'll slot in. So I've got pressure behind it as it shuts. And once we're in, never ever reach your hand over the top of the kick gate like this. That's bad. Because if a cow suddenly kicks and it hits your fingers, that's kind of career ending. I like to go clean hand, dirty hand philosophy. So this is clean. This is clean. This is clean. This is dirty, this is dirty. Um, I, just like hanging onto a gate when you're shutting a gate, I always keep my foot on the edge, and then I push like that. And if, it's, if I'm having a hard time pushing the cow in, I'll put my shoulder in it. Real, with real positive pressure you close. Like press, you can push a pretty big cow in. All right, then when I'm in behind a cow, if I'm going in behind, come on I like having good core stability. Sometimes there's no kick gate, so just for fun, we'll, we'll go through that. I keep my foot centered. I keep, I'm left-handed, like most people. Don't hold the phone. The break desk is with your left hand, the ribbon's on the left, you're working over to the right. Everyone's got their side that they prefer. I'm a left-hander, so it's like punching. I've got my left foot forward, my back foot's right back. I hang onto the chute, so I've got good core stability. Some people like to hang onto the tail, so it doesn't get in your hair. But well, you end up getting poop on everything if you hang onto the tail, so that's, that's perfect for us. I don't hang onto the tail. I also AI a lot of cows, so. Hanging onto a tail, I need two hands when I'm AI. So I always put the tail to the outside of my arm. Hang onto the crest for good stability. Um, they're gonna break your arm. So you straight arm like this. They'll jump to the right, or they'll drop to their ass, or jump up. So I come in like this initially, and I often when I'm doing lots of numbers, put my arm against my body. So as I start to go in, I come in like this, because if they jump around, I've got, if I keep that elbow loose, I'm less likely to break my arm. When you get a stiff arm like this, trying to push in. If they jump to the right, you got nowhere to go. And they can, they can hyperextend your elbow, which can be career ending. Come in like this, twist in. Like I say, sometimes I use my body. That's what I'm doing here. Use my body to push my shoulder. You can, you can give yourself a shortened career by doing this. Rotator cuff, rotator cuff, rotator cuff. You'll just tear your rotator cuff up. So I gave pump in. And then once I'm in, so I'm showing you what I do inside. I go in. And then I take, initially with my hand, I just push everything out of the road. Like that with my hand, I do a back sweep. Then I come down. You can imagine, here's a vagina. It's not hard to imagine, because there's a vagina. Hey, there you go. <laughs> so there's a vagina. Beyond that's the cervix, behind that's the uterus. You know, two arms of the uterus. So I go and I do a bit of a clean sweep like that. Push everything out of the way at the back of my hand. And then I come down along the brim of the pelvis. And I'm going to come across the vagina, the cervix, and the uterus beneath. If I'm AI, I'm finding that, locating it, doing the job. If I'm expecting empties, I go in, grab, pull up. I, I lift the uterus up like this, like I'm fishing with it, pull it up as far as I can out of the abdomen. I bring my hand under now, trap, trap it under my thumb, push it up against the roof of the pelvis, reach forward like this. And just like when you're shooting pool, I slide forward. That's going to take those horns and unfurl them from the broad ligament. And I'm going to grab the left horn like this, reach over the top of it, grab it, pull it back. Quick, quick grab, pull it back. I've now got the inner corneal ligament between the two horns. I've got that uterus in my hands. Now I can go down to the left ovary, across, inner corneal ligament, to the right ovary, right, left. So when I do an empty, it's pretty much bang, 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 left, right, right, left. I go through it twice, cover to cover. So the empties take me a while, but I go through it twice. Especially like these girls where there's still bulls with them, so there can be some real little guys, right? So bang, hanging on to this, and good core stability. If a cow starts to kick, I keep this foot centered. A lot of people you see for this, you give yourself a big rock target. And if they step on your ankle, it's gonna hurt. So I keep toe forward, hover a steel cap, bong, bong, bong. And it starts to kick. I left my foot up up in the air like this. I think I'm holding the cross, I got a good stroke. I come in, make my sweep, sweep across, my nerve. And I put my foot in here, because their feet are gonna go here and here. And I'm feeling down, I can feel this full uterus. Pull a fluid. I can blot little bits of cap in there. Bang, trap, fingers. And I'm feeling not so much with my fingertips, but more with this part of my hand, right? Right across here. So if I'm going down, the, like going in, swipe down, I'm kind of going like this. If I trap it over, and then I'm, once I've got it over, then I'm coming across. 
60% of the pregnancies are in the right horn. So what that tends to happen is when they're real early pregnancies, they're both up there, one horn's bigger than the other, normally this one. And then as this gets a bit bigger, when it gets to about that two and a half to three months, you know, it's about that big, it gets heavy. So what happens is it rolls. And so when you go in there, this, this empty horn's really easy to feel because it's hanging up there and you grab it and you're like, oh my God, there's a horn. And you play with it and you go, oh yes, yes, she's empty. When the reality is, right over the top of that horn is the actual horn. Or you call it like 50 days when it's actually like 300, or sorry, three months, you know, because it's the big horn's there with the calf laying. Jenny laying sideways in it. Then as it gets to about three and a half, four months, it depends on the cow, and then drops over the rim of the pelvis. And then you go in and you trap, and you often feel the empty left horn, which has quite a lot of fluid. And then next it's the big right horn. You go, woo -hoo. That sound red? Yeah. Hop on in. Um, big gate. If I don't trust the head bail, I use the kick gate. If I trust the head bail, I tend not to use the kick gate much just because it slows me down. But good. This is natural lube. Frank testing 101. Photo bomb! Like this, and then down, and across. Her uterus is hanging down like this, so I feel like I'm, yeah, it's like down over the brim. So you, I, it's like I'm trying to grab milker from the inside. If that makes sense, trying to reach for that udder, because the uterus can be laid right along the body wall, over the brim of the pelvis, like that. Yeah. Like, like the is hanging over the, yeah. hanging over the uterus. So on that one, you can feel like left horn, right horn. Yeah. I can't really feel the calf per se. But and then if you came back to the it's really heavy. Good job, cat. We'll get you another one. Here, I'll show you real quick. Is that, is that a screen sword? Yeah. I'll show you what you're looking at. There's a bug right there. Chef Walk Downs, Lucky Bay Farm. Oh. How lucky are these cows? Lucky Bay. Like a, like Lucky Bay Brewing. Look it up online. Best beer in Western Australia. Best beer in Australia. Best beer in the world. You guys been to the brewery? It's rad, eh? Yeah. 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 I'll show you what you're looking at.
do a million before I die. Some people have weird dreams. Some people do hang on the tail, so whatever you're comfortable with. But I like to push the ability against the hang 